So here you have a meter bridge, standard apparatus, which you have this unknown resistance R, the other being 90 ohms. Null point was found to be at 40 centimeters from one end, implying since the entire length is 1 meters, shall be 60 centimeters for the other part. Applying the basic Wheatstone bridge analysis, we have R by 40 equals 90 by 60, which gets you R as 60 ohms. We find that uh, only options A and C would be satisfying this result. Going on to the next part, that is the error part. Let's say the null point was achieved at some distance x, the other would be 100 minus x. If this was to be r and this is to be 90, I should write this as r by x equals 90 by 100 minus x or rather r equals to 90 into x upon 100 minus x. If we are to find error, we differentiate both sides and this is what we have dx by x plus d 100 minus x upon 100 minus x. Continuing from here, delta r by r, now r you just calculated, came out to be 60, dx is to be the error that they have mentioned which is to be the least count of the scale that is used. So dx happens to be uh, 1 mm, so we take it as 0.1 centimeters upon x from one side of its 40 centimeters, the other part this can further be simplified to say minus dx upon 100 minus x again you get 0.1 upon 60 on solving you have delta r as 0.25 ohms and so is your answer that is option c so question number nine is a wonderful question on the idea of projection area what they said was a beam of light was to fall on the shown sphere now do remember since only half of the sphere is exposed the projection area would be a circle so whatever energy is being received by this sphere per unit time is also the same as it radiates out so balancing these two we have i into the projection area which is to be pi r square is to be balanced by sigma a that is 4 pi r square t to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 t being the final temperature that is to be achieved at equilibrium on solving this they have given you the value for i on solving this you have t to the power 4 to be uh, some 121 into 10 to the power 8 taking the fourth root you have under root 11 see uh, taking first square root you have 11 another square root makes it root 11 into 10 to the power 8 so the best answer being 330 kelvins well uh, since you have this bright spot formed straight away it implies the liquid would be a denser medium and outside you have this uh, sorry uh, the block would be the denser medium and then you have this liquid outside and you have this uh, ray grazing out so that you have, you have a circular spot formed on the top a very common questions as you see in all your sheets so by geometry you have tan theta c equals r by h the data is so very well given r is like 5.77 h is 10 this is 0.577 which is like 1 by root 3 so theta c comes out to be 30 degrees because so tan theta is 1 by root 3 theta c is also equal to sine inverse mu rare by mu dense as i said mu dense would be the block that would be for the block and mu rare would be for the liquid so you have sine 30 equals mu rare that's mu liquid upon mu dense that is for the block which is 
2.72 solve this you have mu l is 1.36 that's option c so we'll be discussing question number 17 in which it is given that a man is holding a beaker which is filled up to height h and we marked as small h and let's suppose the beaker is at height capital H from the ground now it is said that there is a small hole at the bottom of the beaker and water is coming out and falling at a distance of d now let's suppose that water is coming out with velocity v and it is taking time t to fall to the floor so as we know velocity of flow of water from the hole is equal to root 2 g effective into h time taken will be under root 2 h by g effective so d will be equal to vt that will give us give us 2 times under root h into small h as we see there is nowhere g effective into picture so in option p lift is accelerating vertically up the thing will change will g effective and is it n it is not appearing in the formula so d will be same similarly in q and r as g is not appearing in the formula d will be same so for p q r d will be 1.2 meter as it was earlier so we will have p option 1 q option 1 r option 1 let's look at option s lift is falling freely when lift falls freely g effective becomes 0 so when g effective becomes 0 v becomes 0 and v becomes 0 so water does not come out therefore our answer will be c